Reporter Gabrielle Hayes is live in Campbell County where there's a possibility of more winter weather tonight. Gabrielle, what kind of conditions uh, are you seeing out there so far today? Well, Sean, this morning it did snow and then it rained, which made some of that snow melt. And you're right, there could be some more weather tonight into tomorrow, but families say they are prepared for whatever that may bring. Yeah, I think it was about 915 this morning. You couldn't travel. Nikki Smith says her Sunday morning routine didn't go as planned. I was going about 20 miles an hour on the road. You couldn't go anywhere. The county line was completely slush. Early in the day, parts of Campbell County and surrounding counties got around an inch of snow, leaving people like Smith and her family to take a little extra caution. So I left out about two o'clock. At two o'clock, they finally were clear. With the temp reaching around 36 degrees, some of that snow started to melt, leaving roads wet and slick in some areas. And while those conditions brought joy to some, because it's fun to play in, it also brought some critics. So it gets some socks wet. 12 year old Sydney Henson says she isn't a fan either. I don't really like the snow. It's cold. It's really, really cold, and I'm not a cold person. But with the possibility of more winter weather making its way to the area tonight, so I already did my grocery shopping, so we're good. Smith says she and her little ones are ready for whatever may come. We're going to just sit at home, stay warm, keep an eye on the weather, and eat junk food, probably. And Sydney says her family's prepared too, but there's only one concern she has for tomorrow's forecast. I'm hoping <laughs> there's a lot of snow Why? because I don't want to go to school. <laughs> That's the main thing. Now again, some of these roads are still wet, so as the temperature drops more, you'll want to look out for any slick spots and plan accordingly. Sean. All right, Gabby, thank you so much. Stay warm out there.